in this video we're going to be talking about Lewis structures and resonance structures. Um, let's start off with drawing the resonance, no, I'm sorry, the Lewis structure for sulfur dioxide. Okay. So the element, I mean the molecule is sulfur dioxide. Um, to do this, we're going to need to start off with um, the number of valence. Um, the total number of available electrons, or the sulfurs and the oxygens that we have, number. So, number of valence. Let's see. Oxygen has six. Okay. Six, and there's two of them. So, two, six, and sulfur also has. So there's a total of 18 valence electrons. Um, we're going to draw a <coughs> rudimentary skeleton. S O O. Okay. Um, there's two there, and there's two there. Uh, that means 16 to go. So that's one. Um, that's two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 17, 18. So now we have um, 18, but sulfur needs to obey the, no, obey the octet rule. Um, let's see how many electrons that sulfur has. It's two from this bond, two from that bond, and two over here, so that's six. Um, to make it obey the octet rule, we're going to take two electrons from one of the oxygens, and we're going to make it a double bond. So this becomes... Let's say we take it from the right oxygen, okay? Okay, so that looks good. There's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay, looks like we have 18 electrons there. But this is only one of the structures. I took it from this oxygen here. Well, who's to say I can't take it from this oxygen? Let's do that. Let's take it from the oxygen on the left here. So. So now we take it from this oxygen on the left here. So let's make that a double bond. We have two there. We have two there. Okay. Now we fill in the other electrons. Just like before. Okay. Now both of these structures are acceptable, and that's what resonance structures are. They're two perfectly identical, they're not identical as you can see, they're, so they're different, so there's a double bond here on the left, and there's the double bond here on the right, but they're both perfectly acceptable. And what that basically means is that, let's say we have a canister of sulfur dioxide, it's a gas, okay? Um, so let's say we have a canister of sulfur dioxide. At any given moment, we have a sulfur dioxide that looks like this, and we have a sulfur dioxide that looks like this. Um, 
and that's what basic was this is what basically resonance structures mean at any given moment um sulfur dioxide can exist as this form or it can exist as this form hope you enjoyed the video have a nice day